the thing that does is knowledge makes you more aware, but it makes yeah. you more angry. Because knowledge is a gift and a curse. When you go through life and you don't really know something, you really look at life a lot better. But when you start knowing life, you're irritated faster. You get irritated from how the, the young men on this planet move. You get irritated on how women respond to men. You get irritated when you understand gentrification. You get uh, irritated when you understand credit, how you've been played in the credit game. You get irritated when you find how BlackRock is buying all the homes in America, about 40% of all the homes by the year 2030. They are buying so many homes that they're only going to be renting you the homes mm -hmm. because most people don't have good credit. Then as you get older, most of y'all don't have life insurance. Yeah. Most of y'all don't have, you don't take care of your health. A lot of y'all don't think about how one day you might have a stroke mm -hmm. or a heart attack and you don't have the necessary insurance to cover you to make sure that you can live a long life. And I always tell people, it's not, it's not how well you live, it's how well you die. The you thing that does is knowledge makes you more aware, but it makes yeah. you more angry. Because knowledge is a gift and a curse. When you go through life and you don't really know something, you really look at life a lot better. But when you start knowing life, you're irritated faster. You get irritated from how the, the young men on this planet move. You get irritated on how women respond to men. You get irritated when you understand gentrification. You get uh, irritated when you understand credit, how you've been played in the credit game. You get irritated when you find how BlackRock is buying all the homes in America, about 40% of all the homes by the year 2030. They are buying so many homes that they're only going to be renting you the homes mm -hmm. because most people don't have good credit. Then as you get older, most of y'all don't have life insurance. Yeah. Most of y'all don't have, you don't take care of your health. A lot of y'all don't think about how one day you might. I'm your professor, I will test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scan, drawing this pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you saw the clip. I gotta agree with this statement wholeheartedly. Like, I didn't understand what ignorance is bliss meant until I got older. And when you start seeing how life works and how people move and how things operate, and you start noticing how people are doing conniving things or people are, are, are dishonorable, lack integrity, don't have good character, um, they have evil intentions. Um, you know, you get the knowledge that, that some people, they play hard. Pause, should I pause? You know, they play the tough role and then when they get caught up, they go to playing stupid. When you realize that people are trying to jam your life up through semantics, because they're trying to get, because that's how they think they're going to get ahead by screwing you over. You're like, oh, okay. When you live in a world where people will say something isn't personal, but they'll try to destroy your life, and then and then on the on the back end of that, go, um, you know, you shouldn't do anything to harm me, like. What are we what are we really talking about here? What are we really doing? Because it's at that point you start to realize that a lot of people are out here playing games. Pl playing with people's lives, playing um as if the 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 evil that they put out into the world can't come back on them. In playing this game, well, you know, you you know, I got somebody to watch my back. Or or let's just go a step further with that. Or all of these heathens who are overly religious, they start getting on your nerves, you know. They they do devilish things and then turn around, but Jesus, I don't gotta I serve an awesome God. 
He like, you motherfucker. <laughs> yes, you deserve to die. No, if you're burning hell. Like, that's the thought pattern. We're out here dealing with people in a world where people aren't being honest. And not just not being honest. People are being dishonest for money, dishonest for clout, dishonest for the possibility of money and clout, dishonest for the possibility of power. Just dishonest, right? Right. When you when you live in when you start realizing that it seems like everything is all good when you're not doing well. But if you're doing well, you would think that other people would be happy that you're doing well, but they're not. If, if you become successful, now you see you, we're living in an age where if you become successful, uh, other successful people will hate on you. Because they feel like, you know, you, you might be tugging at their success. So it's like, oh, okay, okay, this is what we're doing. And then you start getting you know, you start getting upset. As he was talking about, you know, BlackRock, like buying all the homes, you start you start realizing, oh man, you know, people say they're playing chess when you're playing checkers. No, people have actively made you an enemy in life and want to destroy your life without you even knowing. And they'll say, you know, it's just, just, just business. And it's like, business? Business? Huh. It's your business to, to 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 make sure people are homeless, okay? Because it makes you money. It, sorry, excuse me. It's the same premise of when you say the 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 medical industry doesn't have cures, but they show got pills. You know, nobody you know you nobody can give you immortality, but damn, you can't cure none of this stuff. Because they once said, you know, there ain't no money in the cure. The money is in slowly feeding you some of the cure. You know, you could have got 100% of the cure one time and been over with, but hey, we're going to give you, you know, you're going to have to take 100 doses of 1%, and, and hopefully it adds up at some point. And when you start getting the, the, the knowledge of the world and how, how people are moving and how things operate and how and you can see the evil in people's eyes, you can see the bad intentions in people's eyes, you know, you can see the smile in their eyes and their mouth when they screwing you over. You're just like, oh, okay. And if he, when it's ignorance is bliss and people go, ah, I don't know what's going on. Sometimes they are happier because they don't know. But when you know, You're like this close from fighting everybody. And is it a shameful thing? Not in my opinion, it's just normal. But you know, knowledge can definitely be a curse and it can definitely piss you off because you get to watch people and you, you get to, you start to see people's intentions. You know, it's one thing to do a person wrong. It's another thing that when they realize you, how, how long you've been plotting on them. It's like, oh, that's the difference between ignorance and, and, and knowledge. Because ignorance, you just got done wrong. Knowledge is like, this fool been plotting on me since. Okay, it's on now. So that's my two cents of this. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. <laughs>